Five Dallas police trying to figure out who may have been involved in a shooting that now has a 19 year old fighting for her life. RC Pickett live in Lake Highlands and Steve, this is an area police know well. Uh, too well because you've seen this trouble along this particular sector of the city before. Let me show you where we are, Skillman 635. This particular area up there, that banquet hall, there was a party here last night. Two groups started shooting. It escalated in this parking lot. This location, as you mentioned, sits in the middle of Dallas's troubled Lake Highlands area. Police called it a shootout. Crime scene investigators found shell casings littered throughout this northeast Dallas parking lot. A 19-year-old woman caught in the middle. A dance party inside this banquet hall had wrapped up for the night. The violence here would be just the latest example of life inside one of Dallas's identified high crime areas. For the past four months, Northeast Dallas received specialized police attention from DPD's Violent Crime Task Force. We go attack those areas where the Violent uh, Crime Task Force is not. Deputy Chief Andrew Acord oversees the response to the daily crimes of Northeast Dallas, including the Fair Oaks and Park Lane area and the Force and Audelia area that sits just blocks from that early morning shooting location of that 19 year old outside the Lake Highlands area banquet hall. Acord says violence in the area has flattened, but residents also remain concerned about their homes being targeted. Certainly, those folks are concerned uh, with violent crime there, but at the same time, uh, actually, there's more property crime that takes place in those areas in, in addition to the violent crime. Speaking of uh, property crimes, this very location as well, other businesses always been hit, also being hit with burglars, we told, we're told. Also, again, police trying to get an update here, looking for any suspects, looking for any help on this particular shooting in this particular parking lot. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.